Hey team, Julia from the studio here. So today I wanted to, I wanted to run you through some pelvic uh, tilting work. So just to try and get some more movement for the pelvis, really good for opening up from the lower back and from the hips. So what you're going to do is lying, um, lying on your back in that constructive rest position. So that means knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. And I want you holding onto your, uh, onto your pelvis, so onto your hip bones there. And then the first movement is forward and back. So what you're going to do is try and tilt your pelvis backwards so that the front of your pelvis is coming up towards your ribs here, which will flatten your lower back into the floor. And then you're going to take your pelvis forwards, so you should get a bit more of an arching through the lower back there. So then you're going to alternate between these um, two positions. You might have heard the terminology posterior tilt of the pelvis, and an anterior tilt of the pelvis, so if you know what that means, feel free to um, yeah, work through some anterior and posterior tilting. And then the other thing we're going to do is a little bit of side to side, so a little bit of shifting. So if I use my left side first, you want to try and lift that up towards the ribs on the side, and then lift up to the right. So it's just quite a subtle movement, but it's pitching one side up and then pitching up with the other. Hopefully I'm demonstrating well, but there's not too much movement happening through my upper body. So if you feel like you're doing more of a side crunch, just try and take the range off and have it be that quite subtle movement um, through the pelvis there. So like I said,